everybody. Week three of the high school football season. Welcome back if you had us on News Channel 10 too. And welcome if you're just joining us here on News Channel 10. High definition, it's the wrap up. All the best in high school football. And Matt, it's been a wild week so far. For those just joining us, we have so many good games, so many close scores and important games to get through to the, uh, tonight on the wrap up. As you can imagine, some more scrappy, wild games going on in District 3, 4A, a district that we're going to hear from all year. But first, we start with 5A. That's right. Tascosa, they go to Midland. They need a win. They haven't had a win. They haven't looked good in any game, but there's a chance now. They've played such a brutal schedule so far, and then they have to open up the district with a ranked 5A team in Abilene High. Midland High has been struggling a little bit as well. Now let's see what we get from Tascosa. Let's see if they'll be able to compete in this tough, tough District 2-5A. And I can tell you this game was very close. On the opening drive, Austin Beasley takes it into the end zone for the Rebels' eight-yard touchdown run. And there's a 7-0 lead for Tascosa. Start for the Rebels. Looking good early on. Here's Jameer Leonard. A nice run. Picks up the first down for the big man as he fights for some tough yards there. Second quarter now, 7-0. Tucker Davidson. Tucker Davidson to Peyton Brooks, the other quarterback on the roster. He fumbles it, though. Philip Fuentes recovers. Speaking of Philip Fuentes, he returns punts, apparently, for Midland High, too. And you can see why after this punt return. Refusing to go down, making cuts, breaking tackles. Tascosa does finally get him down, but Midland High with great field position. The ensuing drive. Tascosa's defense comes up big here. Here, Connor Beck back to pass. Travis Lawler, though, with a big sack. It would remain 7-0 into halftime. It would remain 7-7 into the fourth. And we're just learning as we speak that Midland knocked off the Rebels 13-7. So a much better game from Tascosa, but a bad outcome. And they don't get that first win. And we'll have to see how the Rebels respond now. That's a very, very tough loss for Tascosa. All right, 3-4A, Matt. You kind of teased at it. Heading into the night, two losses. 16 district, two losses. That's it. Randall sets things up last night with their big win, last second run by Colin Bowen. We'll get to that. You'll see that play in a little bit, but that kind of set things up for everybody else in the district to follow suit. Amarillo High, do they bounce back? They're in our game of the week against another ranked team in friendship. And Matt, the Tigers have looked great, but this time Amarillo gets to play at Dick Bivens. Yeah, the Tigers top 10 team, like you mentioned. Uh, home field advantage, a huge, huge factor in, hu in big games like this. Let's check out your poll results. Emerald High, as we could imagine with our Fans viewers, loving, them. Fans loving them. the Sandy, 71% to choose. Let's see if they would be right in this week's Game of the Week. Game of the Week, brought to you by Popular True Value. Let's get things going in the first quarter. No score. And it's Josh Woods who fumbles, and Will Wyatt recovers for the Tigers. Friendship. With the early momentum already up three to nothing at that point, but it's okay because Emerald High has Gabe Rodriguez, and Gabe Rodriguez has Ryan Sluter. Wow. A nice bomb, a nice catch for the Oklahoma State baseball commit. That's good. Hey, hey, he's he can play football both sides of the ball too. And uh, we mentioned Rodriguez to Sluter. Why not again this time in the end zone? Touchdown, Sandy, seven to three. Emerald High pushing back a little bit. Then friendship, Demarjic. Tucker, a tough name for a tough runner. Look at him get up the field, outrunning some of the Sandys. A nice touchdown saving tackle by Sluter. Same drive, Trevor Lloyd drops back, picked off oh, by Clay Dunning. Read it like a book. And you like to hear the term pick six, and we're going to use it here because Dudding takes it all the way back for the touchdown. Sandy's up 14 to three at that point. They would go on to shock the Tigers 21 to 12. The Sandys with a huge victory over the number seven ranked team in Texas State 4A. Let's not forget Emerald High ranked number 15. A huge win, nice statement win. Canyon trying to make another statement as they're undefeated this year. Welcome Herford to town. First offensive play of the game, Blake Weaver. Swings one out to Grayson Cook. Cook, 79 yards. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Seven to nothing Canyon early on. Here's Ray Martinez. He's trying to find Peyton Gonzalez. The ball's tipped though. Nice hit, it was clean. Clay Irwin with the pick and Clay Irwin sets Canyon up again with a nice situation. Now fourth and goal, they're gonna go for it. Shondi Gayton makes a touchdown. Saving tackle. 
Herford makes a stand, gets the ball back on a turnover on downs. Nice job by the Herd defense. But they had to punt. Canyon gets it back. Weaver to Cook. Again, this time, another long touchdown. 14-0 Canyon. Cook, huge. Let's not forget about the Weaver-Cook connection that we've seen so much this year. And Canyon, all right, all right, everybody. It's time to wake up and smell the coffee. The Eagles are for real. Big winners over Hereford, 42-19. Dumas and Borger. Dumas in a big rivalry game. The dog pound right there. You see him out in Borger. They're ready to go. This is Ryland Gerber in this game. And uh, Ryland Gerber with a nice touchdown pass there to his receiver. Big gain on the play. And that was uh, Nathan Thomas on the reception. Borger gets it back. Snap going over the head of the punter. Garrett Grice, as Borger's gonna try and pick that up and make something out of it. Grice gets the tackle on the play though. Third quarter, 28 to 14, your score. Josh Diaz with a touchdown for Dumas. Oh wait. We're gonna show you one more here. It's a false start. That touchdown didn't count. Let's, let's leave that score because this, this is an important play for Burger to get this game to overtime. That was Aaron McKee with a pick. It did go to overtime as Borger comes back furiously, but Dumas gets the win in OT, 35-28. Nice win for the Demons. Tough game for Borger, but they played up. Good job there. We do have this game. It is on its way in right now. We'll show you the highlights in just a little bit. We do want to get you the score, though, as Caprock and we finish out tonight's games from 3-4-A in a shocker, maybe the most shocking loss of the night. Falls in Plainview, 34-28. Not going to hurt their playoff chances, but now Coach Parr and his guys have something to think about as they see the rest of the district playing. And uh, a good offensive performance, but just not quite enough. Again, we'll have those highlights in just a little bit. Let's rewind to Thursday. Monterey visiting a tough Randall team at Kimbrough Stadium. Second quarter, tie score. Trayvon Benton, a long run. And look at the big man go. You can't arm tackle big boys like that. That would lead to a 46-yard field goal. Monterey up 10 to seven. Then Monterey's Jared Delgado. Randall's Ty Stewart recovering Delgado's fumble. And on the ensuing drive, we know Logan Britton can catch it. We know he can jump, and now we see that he can run. On the little end around, he takes it to the end zone, sneaking inside the pile on 14 to 10. The Randall Raiders looking to prove a point, and time winding down, Monterey's Jacob Bartholome, intercepted by Wyatt Gordon. It would be 14 to 10 at half for the Raiders. They would go on to get a huge victory, 35 to 31. Colin Bowen with a one yard touchdown run to give the Raiders the victory with just 17 seconds left on the clock. Randall stays unbeaten. CISD remains unbeaten. District 3-4A continues to be wild. Three losses, Jacob, between six teams in four weeks of play. Pretty outstanding. Paladuro, the other team, is off this week. They take their bye early. Of course, they're undefeated and looking awesome as well. Remember, Caprock fans, we've got your game for you. Stick with us. We'll have it as soon as we get it in this show. We've also got a lot of big matchups in the 3A and 2A ranks. That's where we'll go next. We'll return on the wrap-up on News Channel 10.